Hey all you zombie slayers out there, it's Parker here from the ZK channel, bringing you guys the Uprising trailer, the zombie section of it at least. Uh, and ov overall, what you're going to see in this video is just, it's sort of slowed down a little bit, you might see some parts over. Uh, but you're definitely going to see a lot of the clips that that also run around the Uprising DLC trailer. Now, uh, before I go more in depth on it, I just want to mention that uh, we're sort of sorry because uh, we did see that the trailer was actually released on Thursday, which is yesterday. Uh, we actually saw it up and then we sort of did a little bit of scanning around to see if other channels had it uploaded or not. And we actually found that nobody had it really uploaded. N none of the bigger YouTubers had it uploaded. Uh, so we thought it might have been a good opportunity to just upload it, get it out there. Uh, but then again, it really didn't fit in with our schedule that we had with all our other videos. Uh, so we were sort of lenient on whether or not we should or shouldn't. Uh, so we just decided to do this analysis video rather than just uh, have it have it sort of um, just like not not on par or not in sync with the rest of our daily schedules that we have. Um, so really what this video is going to be, it's not really going to be a breakdown of every single thing that we see. It's just going to be our analysis and most likely my view on what I think about the uh, the Mob of the Dead. Uh, the new zombies map, that's what it's going to be called, Mob of the Dead. Uh, and it really does go in sync to what the actual map is called. And if you guys don't know or you haven't even watched the Uprising DLC trailer yet. Uh, this is just going to be part of the zombie section. This isn't going to be the multiplayer part of it whatsoever. So it's going to be straight zombies. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description if you do want to see the actual full trailer itself. Uh, so we'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, but other than that, just looking at the whole trailer, uh, it is taking place on Alcatraz. And if you guys don't know what Alcatraz is, it's, it's pretty much a prison on an island. That's all I really know about it, too. Uh, but it's like s some place, like it only, it just surrounds water and the closest, the closest land to it's like close to a mile away. I'm trying to think about it, but... Um, I don't really know. I'm just guessing, but the island on the prison aspect of it, that's that's actually there. Um, but for, what we can get from this trailer is that it's going to be taking place in the prison as well as outside. Because I, uh, if you look on the trailer itself when they actually show uh, some of the outside features of it, uh, you can actually see where it looks like that... Uh, sort of blue blue glowing thing on the wall to represent like uh either a wall gun or like uh something like a, a semtex or something like that uh sort of symbolize something that you can actually go out there and buy what's ever out there so uh looking from the outside of it it does look like there might be some pretty good training spots as well uh as well as a lot of just straight compacted spots where uh they have like all these it's like storage crates almost in which you had to navigate yourself around to it, uh, which looks a, a little difficult, but uh, by the looks of it, uh, I think there might be a couple main trains, maybe either one, two, or three. I don't really know, but just by looking at this, it's might, it might just end up to be almost like a type deal, like five almost. Uh, where it just has those tight corridors that you have to get yourself through and then there'll be almost one main train you have to run and then maybe a couple other small things or this might be a very strategic map where you have to stay in one spot like maybe at the edge of the at the edge of the prison you just have to mow them down and then if they get to you they get to you but like that's only good strategy they might have something like that i don't really know if they would uh but what this map really looks like to me is sort of a cross between Nostrum Toten and Doris. So uh, the reason I say that is it sort of has that darkness of Doris. Uh, for well, no, that darkness of Nostrum Toten. How it just everything was sort of dark and it just had that uh, mystical feeling, uh, that outside feeling that it was just all complete utter darkness, and it had sort of that creepy factor as well. Um, 
And the reason I say Darice is just, uh, it sort of looks like a factory, th that factory-based setup almost. Because uh, granted, it is a prison. Uh, so that's, uh, hopefully, you know what I'm trying to get at right now. It's not actually the factory. It's almost like a factory setup that they have. And most of the features that they also have look very, very similar. Uh, and it might actually match, when I'm thinking of that, it might actually map no match the uh, map sort of interior that they have so it might be actually the full length of it uh, I'm suggesting it to be a little bit of a smaller map than Ascension but somewhat maybe around the size of Darice maybe even a little bit bigger uh, but that's what my expectations for the map size is going to be just by looking at it uh, but it really does look like an extremely exciting map it, it does definitely just by looking at it have that sort of scary factor uh, and I'm totally pumped and excited for it now for the weapons just by looking at them too um, you, we could see easily the FAL, uh, the Executioner, and I'm pretty sure it's called the LSAT, if I'm not mistaken, that big uh, light machine gun. Um, but those guns, they're most likely going to be returning since you, they uh, showed us in this trailer. Now, um, there was, I'm pretty sure it was either two or three new guns that we saw uh one of them they might have been the sort of older style of the thompson or the newer style i should say uh where it sort of had that uh, bigger mag in its clip or that bigger uh sort of look to it it's almost uh i you guys probably already saw it in the video but it has just that huge mag right there it's almost like the ppsh mag that they had in world at war uh, it, it does have like a very similar look and feeling to it um but it might be the same thing, it might even be the PPSH, which would just be amazing because that gun is just such a terrorizing beast, it's not even funny. Upgraded, it's insane, and just non-upgraded, it's still, it's still pretty good with headshots and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that would be pretty cool if they actually brought back that gun. So that would be either a new gun like that, that they just introduced, because uh, I'm pretty sure the Thompson wasn't even in any of the Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 2 uh, Zombies map too, so that's going to be pretty awesome if they if they do return. Uh, definitely there is going to be a new gun for that as well. Uh, and what they showed, there was no really wonder gun that they showed at all, so it's sort of like lenient on, what, on whether or not they are going to actually have one, because what I think is the wonder gun actually makes the map. Uh, it's not a really big portion of it. Um, but I, I hope Treyarch sort of learned their lesson with just not having a Wonder Gun in transit, uh, town, and farm. I hope they sort of learned their lesson on how we actually wanted them to have a Wonder Gun. And uh, granted, they did introduce one in Die Rise, so hopefully they can do it in Mob of the Dead. That would be super awesome if they could. I'm, I'm really hoping they do. Because uh, it does really bring that sort of level of challenge to the map as well as just that good feeling that you can have uh, when you actually get it. Um, but yeah, just based off this trailer, it does look like an insanely awesome map. Uh, it really does sort of have the that cross match of Nacho and Darius and Five. Uh, so I'm expecting it to be a really pretty exciting map. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Uh, they did have like something that looked like almost like a M S M C. I'm pretty sure uh, they sort of had something like that, but almost like a dumbed down version of it. It looked like a lot more compacted together. Uh, so it might almost be like an Uzi type deal. That's what I was thinking when I first saw it. You guys might have seen it. I don't know. Um, but it sort of had that Uzi sort of feeling to it, or that Uzi sort of look. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm I'm just so pumped up for this map. It's not even funny because it is Alcatraz. It's gonna be. It's gonna have that scary factor of it as well as just that whole overall uh, spooky section to it. Um, but I believe that's about it. If you guys have any other comments or suggestions uh, that you guys saw and that I might have missed for. Uh, for an observing standpoint, that'd be awesome if you could leave a comment down below or leave a comment down below on what your guys' thought is about this actual uh, Mob of the Dead map. Because me, I think it's going to be a great map. I am I really can't wait for it. But I cannot judge a book by its cover though, but I legitly think this might
might be an extremely fun map or maybe more or less a strategic map uh, but that's about it because I'm really pumped up to play this the map pack is going to be released on April 16th uh, I'm pretty sure that is on a Tuesday if I'm not mistaken uh, but that's really about it so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a like rating and I guess I'll see you guys later bye